I became a big sister because over the years growing up, I was the oldest sibling and I realized that I would have benefited from having a big sister or big brother myself. It's something I always wanted and wished for. I felt like she's like really open, like talkative. I think that's the word, like really used to talking to people. I was a couple years into my career and I felt like I needed something more in my life besides just work and other hobbies. When I first met Lucas for the first time, I could tell it was just like a bond that hit right away because there's something different about him. And it was just, I'm just glad that we met that day and he was a, it just been, felt like a perfect match ever since. When I first met Trinicia, she was young. She was quiet, she was shy, she was very reserved. And so that shy, quiet, reserved girl, I was also once a shy, quiet, reserved child. And so I like kind of latched onto that and I was like, ooh, maybe this will be something that we can work through throughout the years. She was like really good advice, like life situations, so, like how to deal with it. So I think that's very good. He was really like, he was really receptive to me. I felt like he needed a little bit of direction, but I really feel like that came from within himself. Lucas has actually been uh, through it all. Like anytime I had a problem with school, just life, He's coming to my basketball games, and just recently he was at my most important game. It was my senior night, and I, uh, and something tragic has happened within my family. And just for him to give me words of encouragement to play through that game, I don't know, like I don't know how I did it, but it was it was because of him. Honestly, like truth, like I played that game because of Lucas. Throughout the years, Janicia has I don't even know where to begin. Um, she's done a full 360. She'll talk now. She'll initiate a conversation with me or another adult or teens her own age. She stands up for what's right, and I hope that I had some part of an influence on that. Well, I think I'm more open and I speak up more. As before, I was like really like quiet, but now I'm like aware of everything that's going on around me in my life. I like to like speak and go volunteer and do different activities to help myself and others. I mean, just academically, Abdi's grades have gotten way better, um, and I know that's because of all the hard work he's been putting in. Uh, I've changed in, like, just growth, mental-wise, the way I, like, I see the world perspective-wise. He's, he has changed a lot. He's just, in the way, he's motivated me. At first, when I was a freshman, I was a hard-headed kid. I didn't want to listen. I didn't want to do good in school, but, like, ever since that year, like, everything else in life has just gotten better. I've spoken up at many events, like, City Hall, the Seattle School Board, the community events I've been speaking at, and going to like different groups and talking and discussing about any any like problems or whatever that we have. Moving forward, I see myself at like a long lifetime friendship with Lucas. To be honest, like that's like he's a, he'll be a brother of mine forever, a big brother of mine forever. It's like every single time we hang out, it's a blast. He's super fun, so I don't want that to go away. It's made me just grateful. I am. I feel rewarded in ways that I never thought I would be. I'm so excited to see the person that she grows into and in going to college and starting a family. And oh, I don't mean to get emotional, but it's just like a kid I never had. <laughs> um, it's been a hugely positive um, experience for me. I think you taught me that it's possible to go through really, really tough stuff and stay positive. Um, think about how to improve even if it's, it seems impossible to get through it. And I think that that's really important for any of us to be able to open up to at least someone about things going on. If we want advice or just someone to listen or to vent to or to express a frustration and I feel like Trinicia throughout the years even though she didn't do that in the beginning she does it more now and I appreciate that bond and I feel like that's special. And Well I appreciate how you're always there for me when I need your help. And I can call on you whenever I know that you'll be there. That makes me happy. Well, I love you. Just love you. Just love my Tunisia.